we're going to be using AI to build an iOS app and we're going to be using Cursor and all of the code will be written by Composer which is their AI feature powered by Claude. I will be using Claude for every prompt. Step number one, you're going to download Xcode and you're going to hit create new project. Choose the app and we're doing iOS and we're going to hit next. Name this app, I'm calling it Yapjot and we're going to hit next. Now we need to select a location for it. So you can just go into Documents. I have a folder called Riley's iOS Projects. We're just going to select that one and hit Create. This will open up this project right here. Then you're either going to open Cursor or if you've never used it before, you need to go to cursor.com and download Cursor. And on Cursor, you're going to hit Open a Folder. And here we're just going to go find that same folder, Riley's iOS Projects. And we are going to click on the project, it's called Yapjot, and we're going to hit open. So I include the general outline and I just want to start with a bottom bar that has voice, content, and settings, and a new voice note button. That's all we want and what we can do, this is an AI prompt, we are going to hit submit. And about 15 seconds later we can see all of the changes that it wants to make to the code. And not a lot, it's only one page here, but we can go ahead and hit save all. And you can see here the code change was immediately reflected here. And then I am actually going to hit this play button and we'll see build succeeded and we see this little iPhone pop up right here. And now it should automatically have this app pop up and it should show us what it made. Exactly what we just said. Voice, content, and settings. And it even added this little button that doesn't do anything yet. Now that I like my change, I'm going to hit accept all which locks it in. And so the next feature that I want to add is making this record a voice note. And so I want to be able to record a voice note and see a cool animation during it. This step is significantly harder than the first one. The first one's pretty easy because it's just basic layout. So what we need to do is we need to learn about OpenAI Whisper, which is the best technology, as far as, I'm, as far as I know, on recording your voice and getting text out of it. So we need to go to Perplexity, or you can go to Google, wherever, and you can ask for the docs for this technology. So we're just going to run this. And so I'm just going to copy this entire thing. And in order to use this technology, it's actually going to cost a little bit every single time that you record a voice message, but you know, hardly anything. We need to go to OpenAI Playground and get an API token. We're going to hit Create Secret Key. Now I'm going to paste both of those in there, the key and the documents that we got from Perplexity, and we're going to run this. We actually need to download a package. When it says uh, to download a package, it'll give you this link or any link to GitHub. So on Xcode, we're going to hit File, Add Package Dependencies, and we're going to paste the URL, and Add Package. Do some Googling, and I basically found that I need to download this uh, ggml base bin and hit this download button and drag it right there. And once you do that, then it's ready to test. So I doubt this is going to work. I just want to test it and see if we need to like do anything. Okay, it succeeded in building it. Let's test. Okay, it's coming up here. Okay, so we now see this start recording button. Hello, hello. This is Riley test test. This is Riley test test. We are testing this test. Oh yes. Hmm. Okay. Oh, whoa. <laughs> there it is. Okay, it's pretty slow. Um, okay, it worked. Okay, so let's make some more changes. We're going to reset the composer. So you don't want to get let this context get way too long. Okay, so now we are adding a, a nice soothing animation while the user is recording. I want a progress bar from when the user presses stop until it shows back up on the screen. And then I want to also add logs. Uh, I want to be able to see logs down here in Xcode so I can just kind of see what the API is doing so I can give cursor more information about what's going on. Let's go ahead and run this. Now it's going back to work. As you can see, it's starting to code. All right, let's go ahead and hit Save All. Let's go ahead and hit this Play button. And it looks like it's succeeding. Let's go ahead and test this. Hello, my name is Riley, and it is adding way too many logs on the user interface. That is not what we want necessarily. Um, Actually, we definitely don't want this. We want this in the error log, but this little bowl is kind of nice, actually. It is soothing, indeed. OK, 
Okay, is this going to load here? Oh, there we go. So it didn't load through that progress bar, but there is the message right there. We can actually use our voice to fix this. So let's check this out. Let's click this. So what I want to have happen is I want to actually see the note that is recorded in content. I want to see it on the main page after I record it, and I want it to do exactly what it's doing, which is add it to the content file. Take me to the content tab when I press it, and I can open the most recent note. Okay, so now we can press. Doot. There we go. Now let's go ahead and type at uh, codebase. Run it. All right, so let's go ahead and press save all. And we're going to come over here. Let's go ahead and hit this play button. And it's going to pop up. All right, let's see. Hello, my name is Riley, and I'm recording a note. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. There it is. And we have this clean view note in folder. So I can press this. And here it takes me to the notes page, just like I asked. And there it is. There is the note. I don't fully like this blue uh, view note in folder button. So we're going to make it a gray icon instead. And we're just going to vertically align this a little bit better. And then I also want not the name, right? I don't want the name of this note. I think it's kind of ugly. I want it to just show kind of the first part of the note here. And that's what I want to do. So let's go over here and we're just going to run this. And so then we are going to press save all, save all, play. All right, so we're getting two errors. So I just copied them and pasted them over here into cursor. Run it. Let's go ahead and hit run. Doink. And it succeeded. Please look good. There it is. Hello, my name is Riley, and this is looking good so far. I'm wondering what it will do after I hit stop recording. There it is. And we can just press this little gray icon, and it takes it here. And now it doesn't have the titles. It has the first part of these little notes, which is pretty cool. That's basically the process. You just uh, keep following your curiosities down the line, and you just keep pushing. Every time you get confused, ask Claude, ask Composer, and use AI to your advantage, and you can just create stuff, right? See? Check this out. And look at what I just added. All right, so if we press this button right here, now it's these little blue post-it cards I just added right here. And you can do whatever you want. And we're going to add a lot of AI features and then conversions into different types of content very soon. Obviously, this is only like 20% of the full process of actually getting your app on the App Store and making money off of it. But that's why we started this community 13 days ago, which already has almost 3,500 members. And we have true developers. They inspired and taught me how to use AI to create an app right here, right? And I can create anything that I imagine right here. So if you want to learn more about this, everything that I learn about using AI to make iOS apps will be posted here. And I have posted the most recent template. This is for web apps, but you better bet we're going to be doing mobile iOS templates very soon.